that. Like it was so weird. And then when she said, I did not say that. That's when Aisha came comes in and says, no, you said, if I you put my man in the bottom, F you up. She was like, I did not. That's why she was so adamant about it. I'm like, I didn't hear it. So I'm like, did you say that? And she was like, no, I didn't say that. Well, she didn't say it. You know what I mean? So I, I didn't hear it. And then she, and Camille's one of those people, like, if she says something, she's going to own up to it. <sighs> Guys, I'm back. LBB. Listen, we're going to break down this interview, okay? Because there's a lot of stuff that needs to be spoken about in this interview, okay? A lot of stuff that Cornelia said, I am now looking at him differently, okay? Because what I'm seeing is enabling behavior. Now, you guys already know I smoke women, I smoke men. Today, Cornelius is on the chopping block, okay? Because there's a lot of things that I can see that I saw, I see in myself when I was younger, okay? Listen, age is but a number. Maturity is something that comes along with wisdom, not just the experience, but the wisdom that you derive from those experiences and being able to apply those ex with that with those wisdom and the knowledge that you've acquired in the right manner. OK. All right. Simply knowing a fork is a fork without knowing how to use it. It's no good to you. So I want to break down a lot of what happened in this interview with Cornelius um, and how he spoke about the Camille and Zadie situation. There are so many things in this which are concerning for me. So I'm going to start this way. King to King, Cornelius, I know you probably will end up watching this review. Listen to what I'm going to say. OK, I may be wrong because I may have a different perspective seen from the outside, but just hear me out. Hear me out. Let's break it down. Before we go any further, please do me a favor. Like it, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification on the up lows. For those of you who are returnees, you know what it is. You got the minerals, baby. All right, listen, let's get a little intro going. Yeah, you know what time it is. Time it is. Time it is. Time it is. All right, cool. Let's get into the video. Okay, I just showed you a clip of him speaking about the situation with Camille. Now, I want to I want to be very, very clear. Okay. This whole section of the interview, first and foremost, shout out to Ages and Stages podcast. Shout out to Simona Rashid. Uh, um, you know, I really I do appreciate them. They've come on my channel as well, helped support me as well. I've interviewed them as well when they were in their seasons. Love them too. And we continue on this channel to support them in their journey um, going forward. You know what I'm saying? So love this interview because it asks really great questions as well, which gave us the opportunity to learn a lot more. Okay. Now, in this interview, uh, uh, Cornelius is allowed to do is to speak. When people begin to speak, you need to ikite. And so what they say in French, ikite or listen up, basically. Yeah, what it in my language of Ghanaian tree, what it means. Have you heard? You know, have you understood? We need to listen and understand. So I'm going to play a bit more of this clip, and, make, and, and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna see what I want. And so in the moment of it, um, when they actually played it back, we was like, and remember, we was like, okay, we don't can't see her mouth. They put those words in there some kind of way. Cause she might have, it's her voice for sure, but you don't know what content they put it in, uh, when they, she said it and all that type of stuff. So honestly, the fact, I feel like the fact that they put caption on it is suspicious. I'm gonna keep going, I'll put it like that. They put caption on it and they don't show her mouth actually saying it, but you hear you hear the words and you hear it, uh, you see the caption going across, you see you hear, you hear her saying it, but it's like, it's like the camera's going back and forth because the problem is, and this is why I want people, the audience to know, they have caption, and then two, that's fighting words, first of all. All right, cool. So he's saying right now, yeah, which is a fair point. Listen, it's a fair point to make, yeah, that when, when the, the when the, when the, what he's saying about is if this clip that where she says, uh, F you up, whatever, really is an edited clip, I would be happy, listen, I would be happy to agree if the evidence was pointing towards that. But since we have the evidence on the internet, big boy internet, let's go to what the evidence shows, okay? All right, let's go to what the evidence shows. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the clip up for you guys. I'm gonna take this clip down and I'm gonna show you what the evidence shows. Because, you know, what's the point of arguing over something and, and, and we've got the evidence right there? There's no point, right? So let's go to the actual evidence of what happens, okay? So I want to just to quickly point this out as well. Yeah. Something that happens, which he's mentioned, which is very correct. Okay. That when they edit a clip, they can take words from one section and put it into the other. Right. But I want you to pay attention because the clip here doesn't change camera angles. This is very important because when the camera angles change, 
you're absolutely right. They can put another audio on it to make it look it seem like that's what was being said. But the clip angle doesn't change. Right. And if if you want to if you want to know whether she said this or not, let we can play the clip a little bit longer past the table scene. We're going to go to in a second or two. Right. When we play it past the table scene, you're going to hear Aisha mention it again. Mention the fact that the reason how can you uh, uh, reason why people are not voting off your man or whatever is because you're you're saying you're going to beat people up. That relates back to the original comment. You can't pretend as if you never heard that. You can't pretend as if you never saw the clip on the screen and then and then and then go on like Camille doesn't remember what she said. She knows she said it. It's on camera. And if she doesn't know she said it, we've got a bigger problem because you're saying things and you don't even realize you're threatening people and you don't realize. And you, Cornelius, are defending it. That is where I have frustration as a man. I'm gonna hold you accountable. And I'm gonna hold you to account. Okay, I did the exact same thing with Naeem when he defended Zadia. Okay, and I'm going to deal with Cornelius on this episode because the language he uses completely downplays both Camille and Zadia's behavior completely as being, you know, it's child's play almost. No, what we were seeing was not what you're describing, sir. And this, and the, and the thing is, People will say, oh, but it's his experience. Yes, and oftentimes, sometimes what, what, when, you, when you're in an experience, sometimes you don't realize just how bad it is until you get outside, right? But let, let's let's go to the clip because oh, we, I don't need to talk too much. The clip is going to talk for itself. Let's just play a little bit of the clip. Granted, that's great. Y'all made a connection. But who's to say he won't get voted off the island because he's not giving it? I y'all up. Well, I'm not uh, up. It's, it's called ready to love. Okay, so what just happened there? OK, you saw the clip, right? It didn't move. You saw the clip, right? It didn't move. Her lips said it. Let's I'll, I'll go back a little bit so you can even see it. We're going to go back slightly. Yeah. So so watch it again. Her lips move with the words. OK, now she might have said it quietly and they've amped up the volume, but she said it. Let's just go to it. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. All right. Let's go to it. Let's play this clip. OK, let's play this clip. Don't get voted off the island because he's not giving it. I'll f y'all up. Well, I'm not f you up. It's, it's called ready to love, not confused as f That's the. So, I'm going to play the clip after because she's going to mention it now. I'll f y'all up. Had, it's not out of context. Is the next clip where she goes and starts talking about how um you know uh it's not it's, it's, it's not it's called ready to love not confused blah, 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 blah. that's a separate part of the clip yes you can see her body position has even changed that's not what we're discussing we're discussing the our f you up situation you see and here's my biggest thing Cornelius knows exactly what she said and I'm gonna go to the interview and prove why I'm saying he knows exactly what we're gonna say and why I'm saying his enablish behavior is dangerous not only for himself but for anybody who gets around Camille because anytime anybody gets around Camille and she does that you're gonna defend that bad behavior as you've just done just now w what do you want me to do I uh, listen this is not personal this is behavior. Hear me, what it was in tree. I'm saying with my English accent, but what it, what it, do you understand what I'm saying to you? Meaning, listen, hear me. I'm talking about behavior, not you personally. Camille, Cornelius, Zadia, I am not talking about you personally. I'm talking about your behavior. We must separate the two. I'm sure you're nice people, but your behavior stinks. And we can call that out. Now, if you get angry about that, you got to show me that your behavior isn't what we're seeing on the screen. Right? Let's go, let's go to this bit. Let's play a little bit longer. The problem right there, why no one wants to talk about the process, because you're making threats like that. How uncomfortable is that for somebody to hear? Well, if you put my man in the bottom, I'm gonna beat your ass. There we go. Did you hear it? Did she not address the, the comment that was made? But suddenly Cornelius is telling us that that didn't exist. Cornelius is telling us that he doesn't even remember that moment. But let's 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 go back. Let's go back. Okay. If Cornelius doesn't remember that moment, let's go back. Because I go back to and it may be cut, it may be edited because the camera has to pan away. Let's just let's just keep it a buck, right? Okay. It may be edited. I'm, I'm gonna go with that. It could be edited. Let's let's go, let's go back a little bit, right? Let's go back a little bit. Yeah, to when it's actually said. Okay. All right, cool. 
let's go back to what it's actually said, right? Because, and again, I'm going to put my hands up and say this part, not the F you part, the, his reaction could be edited. But because I listened to the interview between himself and Rashid and Simone, Ages and Stages podcast, where he kept on saying, I had to keep on talking to, uh, to, to Camille to say, hey, you're representing me. If you've got to keep telling your woman that she's rep representing you, it means she's not representing you. If I have to keep reminding you, there's other two things happening. If I have to keep reminding you that you're re representing me, either I'm a control freak, and I and, and I don't I I don't like any way you behave, and I have to always meticulously critique you, or you are really not behaving the way you're supposed to behave, and I have to keep reminding you to keep you in line. Choose one, because it's not positive either way. If I have to keep reminding you that you represent me, that speaks to behavior once again. Right. All right. Cool. Let's let's go to the the clip I'm talking about. All right. Let's go to the clip. Made a connection. Well, who's to say he won't get voted off the island because he's not giving it? I f well, I'm not f Did you see? Now I don't know what. Okay. Let's just say I don't know if you saw it. I, maybe maybe he's reacting to something else because like again when they cut the clip away we're not hundred percent sure it could be that it could be too much. Could be reacting to something else. But whatever he was reacting to in that moment, he's trying to tell her, hey, relax. Why did you have to keep doing that, sir? So what we need to be asking him is what was happening. And, and I hope I get to have him on here because I'm going to ask questions. What were you reacting to in that moment? I'll play the clip. What were you reacting to in that particular moment that you were trying to give her eyes as if you're my dad and mum who gives those African eyes to tell you, if you continue, I'm going to slap you. You know what eyes I'm talking about when they give it. When they give you, the, I can't even do it because it's 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 ingrained in them. When they give you the look, you know exactly what it is. He did the exact same thing. Let's go back. If you don't believe me, let's go back slightly. I'm I'm not doing anything apart from what they what they're showing on the screen. Won't get voted off the island because he's not giving it. I I y'all up. Well, I'm not I y'all up. It's it's called ready to love. Did you see what he did? Did you see what he did? His eyes went mm, wide, and then he went. Shh. Now, that could be edited. Of course, that little part could be edited. Maybe he's talking about something else. But what were you talking about? Oh, we, we, you, you, I'm sure you remember. So we can take the clip and bring it to Cornelius and say, hey, bro, if you're saying you never reacted in that moment to that I'll F you clip, what did you react to in that moment what Camille was doing that you didn't like? And why is it that you had to keep on checking Camille all the time? And the reason why you keep checking her it's because her behavior is not in alignment with what you need. But you 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 getting gassed about the body. And the body's mad. Don't get it twisted. Listen, Camille, I've said this before. I'll say it again. Camille, Zadia, I'm super attracted to them. The word super has to be involved. Camille and Zadia are spicy specimens. I'm talking about deep chocolate, fine sisters that aren't... You know, when I see them, I'm like, whew. But I cannot deal with attitude. I can't deal with arrogance. I can't deal with bad behavior. I can't deal with toxicity. Those are turnoffs for me. And what I see with Camille and Zadia are complete turnoffs. So I separate the two. You're a baddie. I can get it. You're still a baddie to me. Don't get it twisted. You're still a baddie in looks wise. But mentally, I can't rock with you. So I separate them now. The behavior, I'm like, that's not conducive for my life. And I'm seeing Cornelius is not able to do that right now because you've had to check her all throughout the process. She's been giving you the same attitude throughout the process. Nothing has changed. It's not been different. Okay. Nothing has been different. Okay. Let's, let's, let's do it a little bit. And you know what? I'll do a part two of this in it because I don't want to, this is going to be a very long video if I continue to do this. Yeah. Um, I want to I want to address this part here. So he's gonna I'm gonna go back to the the back. Let's go back to the interview, okay? Because you know it is sure. Let's go back to the interview because it's it's mad out here, Don. It's mad out here, Don. Um, all right, cool. Let's play a little bit more. Nobody's nobody no because nobody really heard it. Aisha did, but to keep it 100, and I know she's gonna get me on this later. I honestly believe the producers probably hold some of her head and say, hey, make mission to this. Yeah. And she can obviously be like, oh, you can't say you're going to do this. And she probably looked at it like, what? And then she started going to her little rant about other stuff. You know what I mean? Because the thing about it is, it looks like Aisha is 
is like this pretty much like coming at the mean. I guess he called Zadia and, and, um, oh, yeah, the and Camille the mean girl. She's like almost like she's speaking up and being like righteous in a, in a moment. And she did cook the meal, so we're letting her talk. But the thing is, when she when she came out our relationship in that moment, um, it was just out of the blue. And that's how you know it's part of the storyline. Why? And then, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell I'm gonna talk to the editors and everything. Right. Somebody's holding something behind us, saying, "Hey, bring this up," because obviously they already rolled us off before we even got to the um, retreat. So they got to find a way to get us off of there. So we're not dating nobody else. Yeah. It's about being torn at the end, not you know, you know. It, and I get it. And honestly, from a from a mob, from an acting standpoint, you know, like I said, I have background in acting as well. I understand from an audio standpoint, they're probably tired of seeing me and Camille every five minutes. So I can understand. There's nothing else to show here. And I even told Anthony. Anthony we weren't tired. Said, no, 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 no. See, listen. We weren't tired of seeing you. That's arrogance. We weren't tired of seeing you, bro. The audience was not going to be tired of seeing you, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be very honest with you. We're not tired of seeing you. What what we what we what we are seeing is that there is there's some duplicity here, right? For instance, when you're in a, when you're in the deliberation, right? I, don't listen. See me, yeah. This is why when I do my reviews, I add clips. We don't want to come and say that you didn't say these things. If you remember the clip that I did where he was talking to Zadia at the very end. Um, uh, before they went to the the house or whatever. And he said, uh, I don't want to do anything that's going to uh, make Camille feel some type of way. Right? I'm guessing at that point they had been exclusive. When he went to go and talk to Zadia, okay, in the restaurant, all right, and he said, Zadia, I'm not really, I'm not really on it. And he's focusing on Camille. In the in the cut scene, there's a little part there where he says to production, and it, of course, it's not going to be the exact same time in time that conversation. Um, that look, hey, look, I'm not trying to do anything that's going to affect Camille. He, this, you have been focused on Camille pretty much from the early jump, which you confirmed in this interview. And I ain't got no beef for that. Do you know what I'm saying? You guys have found your mate. Our problem with you, it is not the fact you found a mate. And the mere fact that you're making it a be about the fact that you found a mate shows me that you really are not in touch with what you're really, what's really going on here. We're not, we're not angry about the fact that you found a mate. We are angry about the way that your mate has been behaving towards you, mate. All right. That is what we're annoyed about. The attitude, which again, someone will say, oh, it's edited in. No, attitude is not going to be edited in. You, attitude is your attitude. I keep saying this. Every season they come on here saying about, oh, the editing, the editing, the editing. And I tell you every season, the editing can only do so much. If you've got an attitude, they're going to show you to have an attitude. Don't get twisted. They're going to be nice parts of you, of course. But if you've got an attitude, you've got an attitude. They're going to use it, right? I, I'm, not, I'm, not trying to, I'm not trying to shoot nobody down. I'm talking about behavior here, right? Because Cornelius is the one that's telling us he has to keep checking it. I'm not the one saying it. He's the one that's saying it. You want you want you want to see what I'm talking about? Let's let's go a bit further, right? Where he keeps talking about how he wants to, he has to keep checking out. Let's let's go a little bit further. See, I, I see her finger in her mouth when it's being said. Mm. So what I'm saying is, could she have said it? Yes. Could she have said it in that content? I I don't know. I I, I honestly, but I will say that nobody reacted to it. You know what I'm saying? If somebody says that sound real haters to me. I'm, to me, honestly, I'm if somebody else might put my man about him, she have given a better or more bigger reaction. That's a fair point. You know what I mean? Than the hater part comment. You see what I'm saying? That's a fair yeah. point. Like that's that's where I was like, something is not right here. And they cut that table up so hard with the edits. Like the way it show it in order is definitely we we're sitting there for like a whole hour, but they made it chopped it up, make it like it was right after each other. And from my understanding, like I said, and even at the table when uh, Camille said, uh, it's, she said something about, it's not ready to love. It's, no, she said, what it sound? It's, it's ready to love. It's confused as F or something like that. Oh, it's, uh, it's supposed to be ready to love. But we sound like people are confused, whatever. Yeah. I actually, and like I said, right before that, I had a conversation with Camille. I was like, hey, you represent me. As soon as she did that, I said, I said, Camille. I called her name. And I said, Camille, like, like basically, like, bring it down. Because even Zadi made mention to her. Zadi was like, oh, it's the Camille for me. Because I had like, because as soon as I said Camille, she was like, I was like, why the cameras didn't show that? You know what I'm saying? Because that would show I have more control in the situation, not her. You know what I mean? But let's pause it right there, sir. Let's pause it right there. So you have to check her at the table. This is what I'm talking about. Why do you have to keep checking Camille at the table? She ain't got an attitude. Uh, listen, don't take man for a mug and an idiot thing. You understand? Don't take me for a dickhead, blood. Come on. 
Come on. You ain't got to keep checking a girl who hasn't got an attitude. This is what I'm trying to say. Like, people think they can try and pull the wool over our eyes by saying edits. And then what you, the Bible, you don't love the Bible. The Bible says, listen, you'll be freed by your words and condemned by them. By the words that he said himself, you have nailed it to the coffin. You have to keep checking her. You have to pull her up and say, hey, Camille. Da, da, da. So that table scene is not far off to the energy she's been given everybody as well as you. Now, later on, he actually even says that, you know, uh, that Zadia and Camille had, you know, run-ins with the, with the ladies. So who, so, 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 so what the attitude that we're, that we're seeing is not fake because they have run-ins with the cast members. You see, you can say how you feel and you can tell us how you see things, but how people are experiencing you is going to be considerably different. And this is a problem I have when you don't have self-awareness, because now what happens is you start defending some crap that you don't need to defend. And this is some, this is some, this is some crap. I'm going to be honest with you. This is some crap. Okay. This is some crap. You know, right. This is some crap. It, the, the FU part was definitely said. He confirms it later on by saying two people at the table said it, uh, heard him say it at a reunion. I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little clip. Let's, let's, let's play this little clip here. I don't know if they're going to show that or not, but they asked, did anybody hear us say that? There was only like two people that said it. Said, yeah, they heard it. You know, I don't know if they're going to show that or not, but. Yeah, and also before before we keep going, I just want to acknowledge. So wait, two people heard her say the FU comment at the table. So why were you defending it earlier on saying that she, you don't even know if she said it or not? Do you see the duplicity I'm talking about? Right? I don't know if she even fully said it. And then said, obviously, no, I definitely, no, she definitely said it, but I'm not sure the context of what she said it. Oh, actually, two people actually heard her say it, but no one else really heard her say it. So we need you to stick to one lane. And this is what happens when you start defending buffoonery. But this only happens because behavior-wise, when we get when we start looking at people from a perspective of pedestal, when we start pedestaling people, putting them on a certain level, we, we start putting them on a higher pedestal. Um, you know, we, we then start to behave in a way that's unbefitting of us. And we lower ourselves down to elevate them even more. And what we're seeing with Cornelius is he's defending this woman because he loves her and he cares for her. And I'm not beefing that. I, I love that. We would want to see black men defending black women, but we don't want to see him defending crap. Like, I'm just going to be honest with you. We don't want to see them defending rubbish and bad behavior. No, let's just defend women and our black women on the right things. We don't defend them on rubbish because, it, because nobody learns at that point. And do you know what I'm saying? Like, nobody learns at that point. Um, I want, this last point I want to add, address this. Like I said, I'll do a part two of this, right? I'll do a part two of this. Hold on, let's do a part two of this. Um, I want to just address this part because he's going to talk uh, about Camille slightly. I want to just bring it to this point, right? All right. It was very clear she felt that way. How did you right. feel about the fact that the girl that you're you know, you're meeting on this show, where you're dating multiple people, doesn't want you dating multiple people? Um, it's not that she didn't want me to date multiple people. She wants me to figure out what I wanted. Uh, and I think that's where, like, and it's like I said, even going back, uh, in the middle of the process, um, she wanted me to figure out what I want so that she knows that I picked her mm -hmm. off, you know, her own marriage, not her trying to do anything like that, whatever. Yeah. So she, she, she's uh -huh. one of those people where, huh? Yeah. Cause that didn't, it didn't. I'm, 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 I'm a dickhead. I am, I'm, I'm obviously a fool in it because. Uh, we're forgetting that obviously we saw the the when you're talking to production. See, 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 listen, 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 listen. Since you're aware, sir, since you know acting and you know how the TV cuts up stuff, okay. When you're talking in production, they have what we call what we call leading questions, right? They will ask you a question that's leading. For instance, in this situation, it might be like Oh, so Camille obviously has, you know, has basically controlled you and, you know, she's not allowing you to date other people. How do you feel about that? Right. So that's a leading question because they haven't asked you how you actually feel about it. They've made a conclusion and led you down a certain lane. Now, your response onto that is, oh, you know, uh, I feel like, you know, I, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I, I don't like it. Da, 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 da. You've answered it. Right. But since you're aware of that, 
this is when you, this is why, you know, in court they say, Your Honor, objection. It's a leading question, right? Because it makes a presupposition, um, presupp. Ah, he makes an assumption. I was going to presupp. I can't say the words. You know what it is. Anyway, so, so now you stop that thing and then you answer it. But on more than one occasion, we've heard you say, Well, you know what? I don't want to upset Camille. You've also said as well the fact that you regret that you didn't date other people. You've also said the fact that, you know what, um, that Camille's a little bit possessive and you don't know how you're going to deal with that. Let's not pretend you haven't said things that have made us feel the way we're feeling right now. Let's not pretend. Like, you, 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 you're acting as if, as if it's just to show what they're showing on between you, the contestants and Camille, but you have said things. You have said things. Right. If I was going through all my reviews, I'm sure they'll all be there. You have said things in a cutscene that have showed us that you are even aware of Camille's behavior being possessive, being aggressive, and in a way not being conducive to an actual healthy relationship because you're having to check her every single time. Then you want to pretend as if you're saying that Camille didn't deny you dating other people, but we heard the clip about I'll F you up if you put my man in the bottom. We've heard her say herself. You know, she doesn't want you. She basically, that's my man. That's my man. Well, when you say that, when you say that, what do you think is going to happen? When she's joking around consistently, keep saying my man, my man. She did it to Sean when Sean arrived. Oh, I'm with my man. What do you think people are going to do? The ladies themselves. Listen, you can't deny this. Now, you may say that she was joking, but the ladies themselves said they didn't feel comfortable dating you, Cornelius, because you have somebody cock blocking the whole thing. Let's not pretend, bro. I don't like that. Right? So I get it. You also locked it off as well. You didn't want to date other people, right? But then you regretted not dating other people. But you said it's not Camille's fault because you already know what's going to happen. We're going to blame the Camille. So you're trying to cover her. I, I, I see the ploy, bro. You're trying to cover her, and I get it. Listen, I'm all down for black men defending black women. I just ain't down for defending crap. Like, it don't make sense. I'm going to leave it there because we're going to do a part two and I'll address a lot more of the interview. But I wanted to I wanted to address this specifically, right? And we're going to deal with the part that he started talking about the Zadia situation. That one even made me sad because it's like, bro, you didn't acknowledge the fact a brother, okay, a fellow brother had a woman in his face pointing at him and then touching him on his face, getting in his face. And you, you I mean, let me pause there. Like it, share, subscribe, click on the bell button for notification uploads. We appreciate it, guys. Stay locked.